Hi guys, my name is Hugo Valentine Jr. and today we got my second ever Ertl engine. Oh! So I'm so excited for this. Oh my god. Um, my dad bought me this uh, earlier this week and it came really early. Um, it didn't come early, but it just arrived at the exact date, which was an early date for it to arrive. So that's cool. Um, Usually takes like maybe two weeks for stuff to arrive, but this one took like four days, so that's amazing. Anyways, here's um, my second ever Ertl, Lord Harry, Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. Of course, this is very old, and this is new in box, which is freaking amazing. Um, Brit Allcroft, Oop, I don't know if you can see that, Brit Allcroft. Um, this is my second ever Ertl. I forgot which Horrid Lori I have, but, um, I have one of the Horrid Lories in Ertl, and, oh my god, it's so good quality. So I'm excited to see what this one feels like, um, because, of course, this is my second ever Ertl, and really, I always thought that Ertl was plastic. Um, like, it always looked plastic to me. It never looked metal, to be honest. So, I'm excited to see and feel how it's, like, the quality it is. Because, you know, never really had one of the engines. I've only had the truck, which, that one is fully metal. So, this one's probably going to be full metal also, besides the wheels. I think the wheels are plastic. That's probably also why I thought this was fully plastic. Because it just seemed like a plastic engine, considering that the couplings are also, like, very plasticky, too. I just thought they were really, really light engines, but, um, they actually are, because the box it came in, um, originally was so light. But this one is, um, when you take it out, now it's pretty heavy. But let's open it and see how it feels like. Because I always thought the trains looked so light. Oh my god. Already a scratch. Great. Oh my god. That feels so weird. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Oh my god. What? Whoa. <laughs> this is insane. So this is Lord Harry. He's a... Uh, He's a mountain railway engine. He has a number six on the side of his cab. He has a second face at the back. Um, this is the other side. And this is the front. I think, um, I don't know why they have second faces, but uh, I'm guessing it's for engines. Or not engines. I'm guessing it's for, like watching the back of you while you roll down the hill if it's like a warning sign basically um you could tell me in the comments and tell me what it's for because i honestly really don't know um but yeah all the uh caldy fell railway engines have uh faces on the back and um also this is only in the Railway series, so most of the kids, most of you kids won't really know who these are. But, um, they've never been in the show. They've only been in the book series, which is really old. And they're basically narrow-gauge engines, but they run on rails in the mountains. And also, they are pulled by a uh, winch instead of, uh, just driving by themselves. So... They're basically really very um, intricate engines, as you can see. They have a bunch of pistons in the side instead of regular old pistons. They have to have much heavier ones, much uh, more pistons to carry them up and down so they don't fall and stuff, fall off the mountain, which happened to uh, one of the engines in Coldy Fell Railway. <clears throat> I forgot which one it was. I don't think it's Coldy. I don't know why it's called Caldy Fell Railway, because I don't think Caldy is the one who fell off the mountain. I think it was Godred, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, but this is my first ever um, 
Caldi Frel Railway Engine in Ertl. I have a uh, Caldi in Take and Play, but of course this is very, very new. This is a very new um, product that I've never got to experience until now. And now I know why people love Ertl so much, because oh my god, this is so cool. So yeah, this is uh, Ertl Lord Harry. That's the side. He's purple. There's a lot of decoration on Lord Harry, if you can see. There's someone honking outside. <laughs> um, there's purple, orange lining, red, and yellow lining, and just a bunch of different colors everywhere. There's a bunch of silver, since there's pistons. And the top is very decorated, too. Um, his funnel is... I mean, not his funnel. His... uh. Dome is very weird, very intricate. Never seen a dome like that. That's a huge dome. And um, there's his face. His face is really small compared to his dome. And uh, his funnel is small too. Those are his lamps, by the way. Those two red things on the front. Those are his lamps. If you can see in the uh, preview here, you could see that they're, they are lamps right there so yeah those two those two red things are lamps i was trying to figure that out but then i look at the package and it shows that they're basically lamps and stuff so that's pretty cool also and um they are really low to the to the rails they seem very low to the ground instead of a normal like normal height so that's also pretty cool too because they're kind of like the um they look like the uh, low low riders of trains. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. They look like the low riders of narrow gauge engines. So that's funny. Um, yeah, I really like them. I really like this. Uh, definitely gonna get God Red soon. Uh, that's my next engine that I want to get in Ertl, since I want to do Coldy Fell Railway episodes. And I'm very excited to start this series of Caldy Fell Railway as well. Um, introduce them into my series, I mean. That's going to be really cool. Um, I'm going to have a whole bunch of episode ideas, especially since it's a completely new environment that we're going to be in. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really, really excited for the future because these Ertles are so detailed um i never really knew their full potential until now i think i'm repeating myself <laughs> like oh my god it's so cool i didn't know oh my god they have an open cab that is so cool i didn't know it had an open cab uh, i cannot believe this at all this is amazing i don't know how tall um uh, what is it take and play coldy is next to him but if Take and Play Coldy looks weird next to him, I'll just get um uh the Ertl one. And of course I need to get the wooden railway Coldy to get uh Catherine. Uh my wooden railway Catherine uh connected to him. So yeah, I'm very excited to get those. Oh my god, this is so cool. But yeah, um I think that's my full review. Besides the wheels on the bottom, they're actually plastic and um they're, I don't think they really carry the engine too well. Like, they don't really roll too well. But, um, I mean, it's fine. I could just drag it along. No one will really know if the wheels are rolling or not, so that's fine. Um, I really like this engine, though. Really detailed, and I definitely do plan to get more Ertles later on in the future. Um, and yeah. Oh my god, that was probably so loud in the microphone. Um, tell me in the comments below and, like, comment which Ertl I should get next. Um, I won't be getting any main characters because, of course, I'm gonna be using, like, Trackmaster and stuff. Especially next to this, I think it's gonna be great because these are small. These Ertls are small. So that's gonna be good against Trackmaster because then it's actually gonna be narrow gauge. It's gonna look narrow gauge. Um, next to Trackmaster, I'll be using um, 
narrow, uh, what is it, take and play engines if I ever have a narrow gauge next to them. So this is going to be great. And thinking about the future, I'm going to be um, having the Coldy Fell Railway engines come onto the narrow gauge railway. Uh, I'll have a couple episodes on the Mountain Railway, but then I'll show why they arrived. The, all the Caldy Fell Railway engines arrived to the Narrow Gauge Railway. Um, I have a plan for these little engines to uh, fit into my world, fit into my little stories. And yeah, I'm very excited to show you and plan out all the stories and see how the execution is. Hopefully it's good, and hopefully you guys like it. So, just go read um, uh, their wikia on Thomas and Friends wikia. Uh, this is Lord Harry, as I said before. Um, of course, most of you might not know them because they're in the Railway series once again. And, yeah, hopefully I'll teach you guys something too, because in the episodes where... I have railway series engines. I'll be trying to give uh, a little bit of backstory with each of the engines. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. And we will see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>